You're going to have to walk a lot faster than that if you want to see the whole Warsaw Zoo. The Warsaw Zoo has been around since 1928. It has a place in history as it was actually bombed in World War II. Well now, which way do we go? Which way do we go? Well, let's start with one of my favorite African birds, the crowned crane. These cranes stand at just over three feet tall and have a wingspan of over six feet wide. And with this front one walking closer, I was able to snap a nice headshot of him. We then watched this polar bear play with a toy. Enrichment is so very important to captive animals, especially ones like the polar bears that would have a huge home range. One of Putin's favorite African animals is the zebra. New research says that their stripes are thought to serve a purpose of confusing insects on where to land. Note to self, I need to buy a striped hat next time I'm on safari in Africa. I took the chance to get a zebra picture with a bunch of fall colors around them. It's a little unique from the usual photos I have of them on the savannah. We wanted to know what animal would be Ford Tough. Well, this sponsored animal was the European bison. This little guy had a few years before he would be Ford Tough but he is part of the successful breeding program that the European zoos have. This animal was hunted to extinction about 100 years ago, but since they had around 50 in captivity, they could start a captive breeding program, which today finds them able to release them into their former habitat. A good zoo success story. This is a Somali wild ass. And these are the Przewalski horses, which is a species of wild horse. They are also another example of an animal that has been brought back thanks to a good breeding program. And recently, they even had one born after artificial insemination. The breeding of the future, I guess. We were then checking out some hippos and the cool sounds they make. When we heard the king of all sounds, the lion's roar. This lou, or lion, was sitting on top of a platform. It made for an interesting shot, as it is always nice to be able to get a picture of a captive animal without the enclosure around it. This male lion came out to see what all the noise was about. Across the path were some Sumatran tigers. With only 350 left on the island of Sumatra, these captive populations could one day be the only hope for this species' survival. I couldn't believe they had four all in one enclosure, as they can have some very short fuses. Just look at that stare. Would you want to upset this big cat? We left the felines to go check out some smaller animals, like some insects. The insect world is a fascinating world, full of wars and super abilities like amazing strength for their size, and some even have the ability to fly. It is nice to be able to appreciate them from behind the glass though, as if this one was on me, I would freak out. Some keepers had just put down some grass for the Indian rhino, or the one-horned rhino. I enjoyed watching him eat. A big male like this can easily reach over two tons. As a zookeeper, I once worked with an Indian rhino, and it is an animal I for sure miss being around. Now even though that horn is much smaller than the ones you would find on the two species in Africa, they still are killed for. Poaching is out of control, and is killing off animals that belong on this planet. Around the corner were two more. I would think that these were his offspring and his mate. It is so very important that we can keep these species alive and protected. We then quickly checked out the reptile house, but since it was so humid in there, it was hard to get any good photos. So outside we went to look at one of the smallest felines on the planet, the Joffrey's cat from South America. A little smaller than your average house cat, these little guys can pack a punch. Just check this one out eating some raw meat. We then walked over to the largest cat that calls the Americas its home, the jaguar. You can tell a jag from a leopard by looking at its spots. The jag has spots within its spots, if that makes sense. Even the black jags have spots, but they are harder to see. This cat is all about power. I just had to get a photo of it. What an amazing predator. Well, I was starving, so it was time for me to get some pierogies. But I was glad I got the chance to see the Warsaw Zoo. Now like all zoos, it has room for improvement in some areas, but they are doing what they can to keep our wildlife protected for generations to come. Hope you enjoyed this edition of Safari Polar. More information on the animals featured in this video, read in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching. Gotcha.